Hey everyone, my name is Brian and welcome back to my LEGO investing channel, Brick Dynasty. This time of year is a huge selling period for LEGO investors. To sell sets, some investors use Amazon FBA and let Amazon fulfill their orders, but people like myself who use eBay or use Amazon Fulfilled by Merchant have to pack up a ton of sets during this time of year. I thought it might be interesting for everyone to show my fulfillment process, the way I pack my orders, my packing materials, and so on. I had 15 sets to pack up a few days ago and I filmed that process, so let's get right into it. Alright, so here are all the sets we're going to box up today, our boxes, tape, and scissors. I'll start out with these three chicken hen house sets. For these smaller sets, I use an 8x6x4 by by box. They're pretty thin, so they're pretty light and help save on shipping. Even though they're thin, they're still pretty strong, and I haven't had any issues about them getting damaged in the mail, so that's great. So we have the box taped up at the bottom, put the set in, and what's very important is adding packaging so that the set doesn't get damaged while shipping. Oftentimes I reuse Lego's packing material that they send me because I have so much of it. The paper is a little heavier than just packing bubbles, so if it causes the set to become too heavy when I'm shipping, I'll use the bubbles instead. But for this set, I can use this packaging material and it doesn't cause my shipping price to increase. We see the set is packed nice and tightly, so we can go ahead and weigh it. It comes in at 7.8 ounces, just under the 8 ounce threshold for another bump in price. So this set will cost about $3.50 to $4 to ship. And there you have it. The set is all packed up. Next thing I'll do is go to eBay, print out a shipping label. All I'll need is the dimensions of the package, which is eight by six by four. And then the weight will be at eight ounces. I'll go ahead and print a shipping label. And then if you have a label maker, it's a little easier. It'll just print out a sticker, you slap it on. I unfortunately don't have one yet, so I'm still using paper and a printer. So I'll cut out the label and then tape it on. I'm not gonna show that part. I think it's pretty self-explanatory and I don't wanna blur out all of the addresses on the label. So we'll go with this. I have two more of these sets to pack up. So let's speed run it. If you're curious about the cost of these boxes, these small boxes cost me around 50 cents. These medium boxes we're going to go into next are a little under a dollar or maybe a little bit more. Can't remember off the top of my head. And the final boxes are also around a dollar. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a reliable shipping box company in my area. If I had one, these box prices would definitely be lower and I would like to find one someday. But for now, I'm stuck ordering online. A comment I can anticipate coming for this video is that why don't you have a tape dispenser, it'd be a lot faster. I've honestly just had terrible luck with these tape dispensers. They take me a lot more time to package up stuff and since they're pretty small boxes, I think it's just easier just to tape it on and cut with scissors. That's just me, if it's easier for you, then that's great. Also, if you're curious on how much I made on those hen houses, I sold them for over $20. And I'm getting about 115% profit on those after shipping and fees. Next setup is the Winter Market Stall, one of the gifted purchases from Insider's Weekend. For these, I use a 12 by 6 by 3 box. It's pretty light as well. Haven't had any issues with damage on these. And they get me very close to one pound on this size of box. Awesome. This is right at 15.8 ounces, just under a pound. So that'll save me about $2 on shipping if it had been a little over one pound. One down, five to go.
boom last set for the winter market stall if you want to see more content like this definitely let me know in the comments below and like the video if you have any tips on how i can make these types of videos better really appreciate it so i can make the viewing experience as great as possible for y'all Alrighty, for the magisto's magical workshop this is a much bigger set than the last one so i have to level up my box this box doesn't require any tape so let me go ahead and put one together right now Alrighty, so there is the set in the box. It is just the right size, just needs a little filler to fill out the box. This is a pretty heavy gift of purchase, so we're sitting around one pound eight ounces right now. Unfortunate that we're not able to get these under a pound. Most gift of purchases, I'm able to get them under a pound so I can create a little extra profit for myself, but it is what it is, and so let's go ahead and pack this one up. Perfectly snug, all this requires is one piece of tape. Boom, first set done. Boom, we have the last set packaged up. Now I'll go on and print out all the shipping labels and tape those on. I also like to immediately document all of my sales in my tracking spreadsheet. So I'll put down stuff like the sale price, eBay fee, the shipping fee, my profit, profit percentage, and the hold time. I hope this helped you see a little more behind the scenes of what it's like to be a Lego investor and all the work you actually have to put in to do all this. It's not passive income. You still have to buy the sets, inventory them, keep track of them. And when you sell them, you have to package them up and ship them out. One more thing I wanted to add on here is that when you're running a business, you wanna cut costs as much as possible. And a large way you can do that is by reusing boxes and packing material you get from orders you placed online either for Lego or just personal items. Reusing boxes is definitely more doable when you're a small investor, but as you grow, you start needing specific size boxes for different sets to reduce shipping costs. And I try to do that as much as I can. I save all the boxes I get from online orders and I reuse them when I can, but for these orders, I need a certain weight and dimension to save money on shipping. If you're interested in joining a Lego investing community, you should check out the Brick Dynasty Patreon. It's filled with a ton of useful resources and perks for every LEGO investor. In the November Patreon exclusive video, I go over the 14 sets that I'm targeting before the end of the year. So if you want to see that video and get access to many more things, definitely check it out using the link in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you left a like. It helps out my channel a ton. And if you have any questions about LEGO investing or my shipping methods, definitely drop a comment down below and I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. And if you want to see more LEGO investing content like this, definitely subscribe. I put out videos every Monday and Thursday. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video.